be very careful showing this, but I sent an invoice. Uh, so this invoice itself, very expensive, uh, very inexpensive, excuse me, invoice. It was really just for one mo at the end of the month. So super cheap. The client texted me today. Hey, I never got the invoice. Well, number one, I wasn't even hounding them for the invoice yet because it's only, ah, excuse me on that. It's only uh, the 3rd of June, but you could see this was sent um, 531, last day of May at 6.40 a.m. It was viewed eight times. I can, she viewed it 15, 20, no, a little more than 15. Um, she viewed it like a half hour after, then viewed it again. Viewed it a hundred times that same day, then viewed it today at 312, texted me today at five, six o'clock, some something sometime this evening. So I can see every single time it was opened and viewed. Um it's just, it's just very frustrating. Uh, and then, I mean, just just for proof here, we're gonna send again. I wanna be very careful, I don't show. See, the invoice was super cheap, only $72. Um, okay, make sure. Here's your invoice. We appreciate your prompt payment. We want to make sure all the client's info is not in this. These are all the ways they can pay. Apple Pay, any kind of card you want. Even Amex, okay? Uh, Venmo, uh, PayPal. It also includes um, Zelle's. They give, Zelle, they give you information if you want to pay directly from your checking account. All that. So we resent this. And um, resent this now at 7.38. So this is going to be like 10 times she viewed a freaking $70 invoice. This is, I, I don't have anything remotely close to that. Um, just for reference, this client, okay, who I was just at his home today. I'm going to flip the screen here. Okay. My name is over his, but his was sent and there was some kind of issue where it was never delivered. So he gets a pass. This happens every once in a while with QuickBooks. You send it. It's almost like, uh, think of your iPhone. You send an iMessage. It says sent, but it never says delivered. He was never able to view it. Uh, that's more typical of our invoices uh, in the three to six hundred dollar range. So, and I'm not even hunting him down. He just, I, he, I just happened to run into him today. He was home and he's like, "Hey, um, let's catch up on those invoices." And I was like, "Yeah, I sent you." And you could see in the activity. Sorry, I want to be very careful. Um cover his last name um it was sent same thing 529 uh not the same day but 529 645 in the morning you could see i kind of send my invoices around them um and all of these have a net 15 so we're going to do, 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 do. i'm gonna give you a view out my window for a second as i go to more actions and we're just gonna go up to send. And he's gonna get the same, same kind of thing. Here's your invoice. Those are all the ways to pay. And where is my mouse? And we're gonna go down here to send. And that's it. Um, 
That's all it is. Super simple. Resending invoices. Uh, one day I'll walk through and actually let me here. So I'm going to go in here. We're going to do a new invoice. So I'm under the new, new invoice. It's the drop down. All right. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me there. I'm sorry. Um, I want to edit some of my stuff out, but um, you're going to add your customer. Whoops. And I'm going to type his name in and it'll pop up. Okay. So I'm being very careful here because it has all of his information, all of his contact information, his address, everything. I just default these to go net 30 from the original invoice date. That way they're not showing up as uh, overdue ever by the end of the month. All right, you're gonna go here. Uh, I just type in one so it knows these are the things related to lawn. It's just going to be a lawn maintenance. Motrim Blow. Again, I want to be super careful. Um, okay. Motrim Blow. Then underneath it, I'm going to do 06. Today's the third to four. And I th do the time I arrived at the house, which was five. It's late. 515 actually hold on let me do a little at symbol at 5 15 p.m we're gonna put his rate which is 95 okay it's automatically gonna do the tax and we're gonna leave the quantity as one and as we go along we're gonna add 63. I'm just going to assume 610, 617, or 618, uh, and then yada, yada, yada. And then you're just going to add your dates and keep adding the quantity. So eventually you're going to get to, but his is a little different too because he's got like a, he's kind of have a, has an extra part of the yard that's not included in the regular mow. So this is like base price. So like last month he had two at, two at 95 and two at 135 or something like that. Um, so the, just, you know, those are all just, um, you know, uh, things to, to look out for. Uh, so if I were to do the slope area of his yard, I would do a second one. And I would do uh, same thing, lawn maintenance. It would come up as motor and blow. And then I would add in and slope change the rate to 135 or whatever the rate is. Um, and then it might be like two at this price, two at that price. Um, and, and that's how you go from there. Um, and then you're not going to save it. I don't, uh, you're going to save it. You're not going to send it. So just save. Um, and then, then that client is all good. So that's how we do it. Um, if you have any questions, um, QuickBooks is really easy. It slides right into your taxes. It's honestly something you should have. Um, forget what plan my accountant recommended. It's kind of like the mid-grade plan for, uh, somebody like me is it maybe essentials it's called. I don't know. Right now, I mean, everybody's rates different. They always get in cheap. So you're going to get in really cheap and then the price goes up as the more and more you use it. I think I pay like 65 bucks a month, which isn't terrible. Um, and then just always include your uh, monthly costs. So for all your, you know, you have your fuel costs, you have your payments. If you have payments on trucks, mowers, you know, uh, try not to have, I have a payment on a truck, don't have a payment on any equipment. Actually, I have a payment on a deer um, tractor. So you want to recuperate all your payments. Your insurance costs. Uh, now's the time of year for me. In the summer, I renew my insurance policy. Uh, it looks like my coverage and rate hopefully are staying on uh, the same. Knock on wood. That's one sixteen a month. It works out to a, I forget what the lump sum payment is, but um, you know that plus QuickBooks 
is pretty much $200 a month. Um, they can add in fuel, which is a lot, you know, all their costs. So you could see how just, you know, one little baby invoice is, um, adds a lot. But anyway, have a great rest of your day. I uh, hope this helps in the grand scheme of things. Peace.